More breaking updates coming in and this from the top court. The Supreme Court has observed that digital divide pr has produced stark consequences amid the pandemic. Right to education has been virtually denied to economically weaker section. In fact, the Supreme Court has also observed that the economically weaker couldn't afford computers and that the government must provide facilities to them as soon as possible and that the center and the state must work together to find a solution. Let me go across to my colleague Minakshi for more. Minakshi, take us through the key observations that Supreme Court made on digital divide and also tell us what this petition was about. Well, uh, yes, absolutely, Tanima. You see, the top court has gone ahead and observed in this particular matter, and I quote, as to how, and I quote, our needs of future of the country cannot be ignored and solution has to be found, unquote. Uh, Supreme Court was hearing a petition uh, which was pertaining to the earlier order passed by the Delhi High Court. And today the Supreme Court went ahead and praised this particular Delhi High Court order from earlier, which had directed the government of NCT or Delhi government to provide gadgets and internet connection free of cost to economically weaker sections uh, of children uh, in private and government schools. That apart, like you rightly mentioned, uh, the Supreme Court has also directed the uh, Delhi government uh, to come out with a plan to help these children uh, belonging to the EWS category and said that central government and in this case the state government would be the Delhi government uh, should work together to find uh, out a realistic and lasting solution to ensure that education is not denied uh, due to lack of resources. So clearly, important uh, order, uh, important observation and directive coming from the top court uh, where it went ahead and observed, like you rightly mentioned initially, that the digital divide uh, produced as a result of the consequences of the ongoing pandemic uh, has impacted the right to education and, and this uh, virtual education being uh, denied to children, particularly belonging to the economically weaker sections of society, as they could not afford computers uh, for online classes. And uh, the Supreme Court is taking this seriously and saying that the government has to play a part in providing uh, these resources to such children. Tanima. Right, Minakshi there, thank you so much for joining us with that breaking update. And with that, it's time for us to slip into a short break. More news and updates on the other side. Stay tuned.